Hey guys, and in today's video, let's take a look at Ulanzi G91, which is a silicon sleeve for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So this accessory, guys, is gonna be perfect for everyone who wants to use the GoPro as a traditional point-to-shoot camera, taking photos of their children, uh, going for a short trip, or on everyday activities. So in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at Ulanzi G91, review it, and then we're gonna compare it with the original GoPro Sleeve Plus lanyard. So let's take a look what we have inside. All right, so that's gonna be what we have inside of the package and that's gonna be a silicon sleeve, a lanyard and a lens cap. Let's focus on the silicon sleeve first. So the G91 is made from quite thick silicon material. So if you put your GoPro inside of it and you accidentally drop it, for example, it's gonna give you that extra bit of protection. All right, so let's put our GoPro Hero 9 Black inside of the G91. So this is how GoPro Hero 9 Black looks like inside of the G91. And as you guys can notice, we have a clear viewable access to the front screen and full access to the touch screen. So if you want to change between the modes, you can do that. Or if you want to change some settings, you can do that as well. From the top, we have full access to the shutter button. So if you want to start or stop the recording, you can do that as well. And on the side, we have a clear access to the mode button. So if you want to change between the modes or turn on or off the camera, you can do that as well. Now please take a closer look on the other side and you can notice that there is a clear access to the USB-C port. So you can charge your camera while, for example, recording a time lapse or you can transfer your files to your computer without removing your camera from the sleeve. But in order to do that, first you must remove your battery door from your GoPro. Now, if you still prefer to use the battery door whenever you're using your GoPro, I highly recommend it to you um, to check out Ulanzi battery door uh, for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Uh, in this case, I'm holding a um, Ulanzi G96, but I highly recommend it to you to take a look at G92 and G93. That's going to be a plastic and a metal battery door for your GoPro. Because both of them are going to give you a clear access to the USB-C port while protecting your battery. If you decide not to use a battery door with it, the sleeve gonna be a little bit shallow in the place of it. And now, if we take a closer look at the bottom of our camera, you will notice that there is a clear access to the foldable fingers. So if you want to mount your camera on a traditional GoPro mount, you can do that with the sleeve on. Also, if you take a closer look, we have some cutouts for microphones. So that's gonna be on the side, on the top, and on the front as well. So as you guys see, it's a very travel-friendly accessory, providing that extra bit of protection in case you drop your camera. Uh, it's gonna protect you well, uh, especially all around the edges. However, the front LCD and the um, lens, as well as the touchscreen are exposed. So it's a good idea to use this accessory with uh, some tempered glass. Honestly, I think that uh, this accessory is perfect for everyone who wants to take some casual photos with their GoPro, perhaps record a time warp, or simply spend their time with their family, have your camera around your neck, or even put it in your pocket uh, without worrying whether you're gonna use it or not. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, G91 sleeve comes with a lens cap. So if you want to protect your lens while traveling and you are worried that uh, you can scratch it, uh, for example, in your camera bag, um, this lens cap gonna protect it. Notice that this lens cap has a little section. So if you stick it to your protective lens, it's gonna hold there uh, quite tightly. It also comes with an adjustable lanyard. So for example, whenever you are going on a trip with your family, you can simply wrap it around your wrist, tighten it up, and treat your camera as a traditional point-and-shoot camera wherever you're gonna take some photos uh, or a quick video with your family. Or if you prefer to have your hands free, you can simply loosen it up and simply uh, wrap it around your neck and have a hands-free experience. So from what I talked with Ulanzi, they are offering this sleeve only in a black color and there are no plans to introduce any new colors in the future. Now, I think that this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't compare Ulanzi G91 with the original GoPro Sleeve Plus lanyard. So let's compare it and see what's the difference between them.
So first of all, the biggest difference between those two sleeves is that the G91 has a clear access to USB-C port. So once again, if you want to charge your camera uh, through that uh, USB-C port uh, or simply transfer the files without removing your camera from the sleeve, you can do that with it. Also, I noticed that the Ulanzi G91 has a much wider cutout for the microphone. Take a closer look from the front, from the side, and also from the top. So the question is, is the audio quality going to be better in the Ulanzi G91 or is the audio going to be the same? So let's hear some samples. And this is how the GoPro Hero 9 Black sounds inside of the Ulanzi G91 sleeve. Once again, you're listening to the audio coming from the Ulanzi G91. And this is how the GoPro Hero 9 Black sounds inside of the original GoPro Sleeve Plus lanyard. Once again, you're listening to the audio from the original Sleeve Plus lanyard. I noticed that at the bottom, um, the cutout for the uh, foldable fingers is slightly bigger uh, than it is uh, on the um, original GoPro Sleep Plus lanyard. Um, it's a little bit easier to take it out, though it's never been a problem for me to take it out uh, on the original one. Also, if you take a closer look at the cutout for the front screen in Ulanzi G91, it's by a tiny little bit bigger than it is on the original one. Both of these sleeves have the same thickness and I must tell you guys that to the touch, I feel like uh, the original one is slightly better. The Ulanzi G91 uh, comes with the um, lens cap, so it's gonna give you that extra bit of protection for your lens whenever you are traveling your camera. And the original one doesn't come with it, uh, so your lens is gonna be exposed for all sorts of scratches and impacts. Lastly, let's compare the lanyard. So what I noticed is that on the Ulanzi, whenever you are loosening up or tightening it, it's simply more smoother and the whole movement is simply easier. On the GoPro, it's a little bit more tighter. But the biggest advantage for GoPro lanyard is that it has this quick release mechanism. So whenever you don't need that clip anymore, you can simply unclip it, let go of it and uh, use your camera without it. All right, guys, so this is how this accessory looks like. And I must tell you that this accessory is quite affordable. If you decided to get it on official Ulanzi website, it's gonna cost you around $8. If you decide to get it on Amazon, it's gonna cost you around $10. So I think that it's still quite affordable because the official one costs around $20. However, if you join the GoPro Plus subscription, you're gonna have like 30% off, but in most of the shops, it's gonna cost you 20 bucks. So there you have it guys, if you want to save some money, have that extra bit of protection for your camera or around the edges as well as in this case uh, on the lens itself or uh, have a clear access to a USB-C port and charge your camera or simply transfer the files without removing your camera from the sleeve, then Ulanzi G91 is simply something for you. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you want to personalize a GoPro, then with the original GoPro Sleep Plus lanyard, you can choose from a variety of different colors. So that's gonna be blue, black and white version. And I'm pretty sure that GoPro gonna introduce some new colors in the future. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like that content and you enjoyed it and you learned something from it, then give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, smash that notification button so you don't miss my future content and see you guys in the next one. Bye.